Hi, beautiful community. It's been quite a while since my last video for everyone, like more than a month or so. And I'm really excited to reach out today and share this beauty where I am, in the beautiful redwood forest in Mendocino County on the Pacific Coast and really taking time to feed my body and soul with these beautiful frequencies of nature, the ocean of the sacred space, just staying in this wonderful cabin in the forest, kind of a dream place and really saying yes to myself right i really would like to role model this deep expression of self-love self-appreciation and how the goddess needs to be treated and how the goddess needs to take care of herself right the embodiment of sacred feminine we do need to do this for ourselves and prioritize this so we can show up in the world and love the way we show up in the world and love the people around us and take a good care of everyone else. It's been quite a journey since my last transmission. So many beautiful things happened. Uh, I launched my Tantra Apprenticeship Program, Ascension of Intimacy Apprenticeship Program. And I have a beautiful group of souls, women and men who have joined this is one year program for the leaders of the Golden Age and people who want to integrate Tantra in their healing businesses and their work, or just want to dive in deep in a relationship with themselves and rebuild a new foundation for this relationship with the body, with the soul, with this path that we are all exploring in on this beautiful planet, right? Look at this beauty. And this is November 5th. <laughs> this is the election day. And I was strongly guided to be alone in the forest and do my work remotely in the forest near the ocean. And it's just like different way of living, different way of leading and different way of relating. We are so focused on accumula accumulating like material wealth and stuff, you know, <laughs> we have so much stuff and the more stuff we get, there are more things to look for and desire, yet the stuff doesn't really change your life immediately. It's, it's kind of immediate gratification, but you move on and like you still feel disconnected, you still feel you know, captured in the rat race of the human society, human world. But taking a break from all this fuss, the craziness and being in the forest, you know, creating these private retreats for yourself, right? For, for those ones who do it for others, don't forget to do it for yourself as well. So I'm doing, this is my second time being here this year. And this is where I create a curriculum for my apprenticeship program. This is when I can still see my clients online on Zoom and be here under the stars, reconnecting with the divine, being plugged in into divine consciousness unified field of consciousness and not to be drained by societal turmoil the agony of the old system that is happening right now 
so this is just a video um, reminder i wanted to really show you the beauty of this forest you can see the ocean there off this way <laughs> over there and just being here not to not forgetting to just be to just be to feel connected this is devotion to the frequency and what i find the most important on the path of the sacred feminine in the modern times especially during this turmoil is our commitment to inner states our commitment to this higher frequency of who we are on the soul level and what we're here to create i don't really have direct power to change big events in the world or help hundreds of thousands of people maybe millions of people who are suffering and pain in extreme situations being murdered being tortured mistreated yet i can create this island of bliss of high frequency and guide those ones who are in my field who are drawn to my message who are drawn to my work and i'm dedicated beforehand i'm dedicated to sustain this frequency for your people for my community for my tribe to role model that you know no matter what we can stay connected we can stay plugged in we can stay above all of this while being in it and if we have an opportunity to be on nature that's beautiful when we need to go back into messy world we do our practices and we sustain right we sustain the frequency that's the most important thing that's what the leadership of the golden age is about and sometimes we drop and we can forgive ourselves when I drop my frequency, when I feel down, I take a break, I pause, go within, I do my practices, I bring myself here in this beautiful space, or whatever your sacred space, right? What, what is your sacred space for you? So I really wanted to record this video and send some inspiration. I'm back and I'm about to share more wisdom more beauty more consciousness work for my community I have a few new projects that are unfolding and those beautiful containers that i have already created are now available again i still work with my private clients i still love my program tantrika for women to work on the relationship with their body with their soul with their commitment to their sacred nature avoiding that self-betrayal healing the old wounds forgiving ourselves for what happened before liberating ourselves from any kind of toxic relationships or toxic old agreements that sometimes we're not aware of going deeper becoming more clear finding pleasure finding space for just being and doing tantra this is tantra of life so i recently started to work with two new women in my tantrika program and it's been phenomenal experience lots of experiential work not just you know the paradigm education it's about our body our sexuality our female female consciousness feminine consciousness how we operate in the world differently there are elements of leadership there is wisdom of communication and self-expression in the relationship with masculine so many layers and of course my sacred union container where I work with couples and help them rebuild the foundation 
found their sacred relationship. So, sending you so much love and support during these times. You're welcome to reach out if you'd like to talk. And I am creating more for you. And I'm still here.